Hello friends. This is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. How are we doing? We doing good? I'm still not making decisions, so I'm letting the cards decide who we read next. Who will it be? Scorpio. Okay, that leaves us with four left after this one. Okay. Wrong cards. Scorpio. This reading will be for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, it's okay too. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. They even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. I love the cross watchers. Scorpio. My Venus is in Scorpio. Just a fun fact about me. Okay. Why are you here, Scorpio? Ten of Swords. A painful cycle is coming to a close. The sun is getting ready to shine again. The worst of it is over. Awesome. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Page of Swords. They got quiet quick. Wow. They got real quiet real fast, didn't they? Maybe there was just a lot of things that they never told you. Possibly some things you had to go find out on your own. Or people found out for you, maybe. What do you think of them? Eight of Cups in the reverse. You think they may be returning to something else? They've Maybe trying to return to you. Hmm. Throw a clarifier on that. What do you want from them? King of Swords in the reverse. You want them to make an emotional decision, not a logical one? Huh, okay. I'm definitely going to throw a clarifier on that. Maybe you want to be able to lead with your heart and not your head. How do they feel about you? They definitely feel the connection. And they feel that you feel it too. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. There's a little bit more air on the board than there is anything else right now. But, you know. If it throws an alarm off in your brain, cool. If it doesn't, not part of your story. What do they think of you, Empress? They think you're the one. They think you're the one. They see growth, they see potential when they see you. Wow. Okay. 
What do they want from you? The Five of Pentacles. This is an interesting Five of Pentacles. See that light coming out of that window? They either want you to see the light or come on in, or they want to come on into you. Throw a clarifier on. What's the obstacle, the challenge in this connection? Page of Pentacles. Slow mover. potential's there, the abundance is there. It just may not be moving at the pace that you both want. What can be done? Hanging men. Accepting the fate of the situation. Putting on the other person's shoes, seeing things from their perspective. Okay, let's get some clarity. They fly how they fly, they land how they land. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Scorpio friends for the month of July, please? Clear up my story. I didn't ask for any cards yet. The Eight of Cups reversed. The Eight of Swords upright. The Ten of Cups reversed in the moon. Let's see if they come back out. See if they come back out. Why is the Page of Swords reverse chair? Give me four cards. Three of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, with a Fortune reversed, Nine of Swords in the upright. How you feel about them. You're not communicating. Probably very disconnected from you. Even having a hard time trying to be friends at this point. Maybe you're having a hard time even trying to be friends. Four of Pentacles.
Maybe they just let it all out. Let it all go. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Hmm. It's a cycle not ending. Downward turn of events. Karmic. Screams karmic. Nine of Swords. You think about them a lot. I think there was a couple of sleepless nights. There's no other threes. It might have been third party, but I don't know. Maybe you have the third party. Maybe they have the third party. I don't want to scream third party. Oh, friends. There's no communication. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? Six of Pentacles reversed. Someone was giving more than the other things weren't equal. Things weren't fair. Maybe you weren't able to give. Maybe they weren't able to give you what you needed. Two of Wands reversed, stuck on the paths. Stuck at a crossroads, not sure which way to go. No more. Page of Pentacles. Somebody want. Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Showed up twice. Slow moving energy. The abundance is there, but it's slow moving. One more. Eight of Swords, obsession, wrapped in a cage of their own thoughts. Walk out of that cage anytime you want. Your feet are not bound. But by the looks of things in this card, if you step back between those two swords, you're going to get wet. So you got to find a way to move forward, wiggle between the ones in front of you. Somebody wants to return here. But things aren't fair. Someone's stuck. Slow moving energy. Someone's wrapped up in a cage of their own thoughts. This is how you think of them. Are you the one wrapped up in a cage of your own thoughts, Scorpio? Are you the one afraid to get wet? Why is the King of Swords reversed here? Why is the King of Swords reversed here? For what Scorpio wants from the other person, thank you. 
Six of Wands. They want victory. They want the battle to be over. Two of Swords in the reverse, but a painful decision has to be made. Ace of Wands, reversed. That's him going to strike. Oh, whoa, whoa. Three of Swords, Four of Cups. Oh boy. They could be concentrating a lot on the past and not seeing the cup. Maybe you're the one not seeing the cup. There's heartache. Somebody needs to process heartache. You want victory. But you want it in the right way. Maybe you're trying not to make an emotional decision. Maybe you want them to make a logical decision, not an emotional one. Okay. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? They feel the connection. They know it's there and they know that you know it's there. But someone's taking that walk. Somebody's got to go through the spiritual process. Introspection and healing, working on themselves. That's important. Especially after all this, Scorpio. Uh, I don't blame anybody for not wanting to jump into anything after that. That looks like it hurt like a biscuit flying at your face. <laughs> you ever take a biscuit to the face? It don't feel good. One more on that, please. One more on the lovers, please. Thank you. Two more. Shadow side reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. They may feel like you're trying to disconnect from something that was very toxic, something that was very burdensome. A very deep connection. They may feel like you don't want them. They may feel a little rejected with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands popped out in the reverse. Huh. Not talking. You feel like they're not talking? They feel like you're not talking. There's no forward movement. There's no communication. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here for my Scorpio? For how the other person thinks of Scorpio. Why is the Empress here? Star and Temperance. I 
flow, the flow, the positive energy flow. They think you are the one. There's positive energy flow. There's healing. They see this. They think this could help you both heal. That is amazing. That's like soul level connection amazing. Wow. But y'all ain't talking. This is like... person you're dealing with may be highly intuitive, like in touch. They feel the connection, they feel the flow, they know. Wow, Scorpio. It's a sword's reverse, but you all ain't talking. Y'all ain't talking. There's no communication. At least not here. Y'all may be communicating up in the 5D in dreamland, but y'all ain't communicating down here. No. Wow. Well, that's five pentacles here. Oh my goodness, come on. Jump if you're gonna jump. Thank you. in the upright. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Oh, come on! Page of Cups reversed. Wow. I think they done threw in the towel. One more on that. Oh man, death reversed. Wow. They know you're not ready. They'd just soon be left out in the cold at this point if I'm reading this correctly and not put the work into it and not communicate because you're not ready. You have not gone through that spiritual metamorphosis. Your death is still in the reverse. Five of Swords, they want you to pick pieces up. You're still in the heartbreak stage. Oh, wow. One more on that. Ten of Pentacles reversed. They acknowledge that you have self-work to do and that they want you to do that. They're willing to give up the dream to not impede your progress. That, that, wow. That's making me a little misty, Scorpio. That's making me a little misty. (sighs) 
Why is the Page of Pentacles here for the obstacle challenge in this connection? Am I going to throw the whole deck on this? Holy cow. Someone has a very deep emotion for the other. Someone's holding the cup. And the magician. One more. Someone may be trying to start from the beginning, manifest greatness and wonderful things, and there's the fool. Someone just wants to jump. Six of Swords. And someone needs to move on. Maybe someone already has moved on. Scorpio. I can see that. It's interesting reading the cards and trying to see things from both, both perspectives at the same time. There's love there. There's emotion. Somebody wants to manifest it. Somebody's ready to jump, but Someone's still moving on from something. The boat's not quite to the dock yet. It's slow moving. There's a lot of thoughts in that boat. There's a lot of what ifs in that boat. Scorpio. You're the one with the thoughts in the boat. It might be time to clear the boat out. Crosswatcher. You're the one with the thoughts in the boat. It might be time to clear the boat out. But be mindful. Thoughts are the only thing keeping the boat from sinking. That's a predicament right there. That's a predicament. One more. Six of Cups reversed. There may be some salty, sad, sore feelings in regards to the issue for some of you. Why is the hanging man here for what needs to be done? Why is the hanging man here? Lands where it lands. Accepting things as they are. Allowing the cup to be spilled. Allowing for no forward movement. Oh boy. Throwing in the towel, giving up the ghost. Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of 
Eight of Cups reversed. Good things come to those who wait. Accept it as it is. Allow it to return if it's meant to. The world in the upright to the Six of Wands in the reverse is your advice. You don't always get a happy ending. The ending's what you make. You don't always win the battle. Four of Swords reversed and the Two of Cups. Throw a couple more on that. Restless energy and a connection. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Put the house plant back and put it back that for a while, see what happens. Maybe it'll grow, maybe it won't. If in the very least, this is meant to teach you something, there's a lesson in this. Find the blessing. Don't get all restless about it. Except that you don't always get your happy ending. At least not right away. Some books. What do they call it? Is that an epilogue? This is sad because I studied English literature. I'm just having a massive brain fart right now. It's the story after the story. You may get one. Four of Swords reversed again. Nine of Wands. Restless energy. Letting the walls come down. High Priest reversed in the Nine of Cups. This may not have been meant to be. But you will find happiness again. You just have to fill your cups with the right things, Scorpio. Don't go on a, a backslide and back out of that cage of thoughts the wrong way and get all wet. Find your happiness. When you fill your nine cups, the tenth one will come. Okay. All right, guys. It's been your reading for the month of July. I hope it helped. Thanks for stopping by. Love you guys a bit. Catch you soon.